And now, weather with Storm Search 7 meteorologist, Tony Durda. Good afternoon, everybody. Appreciate you joining us here for the, your weather information this Monday afternoon, a warm, breezy Monday afternoon. And conditions have uh, presented themselves, or at least well present themselves, for the remainder of the afternoon for the National Weather Service to issue a red flag warning for the potential for elevated fire dangers. We've got dry conditions, low relative humidity, the wind is up, warm conditions, a lot of fuel out there. So uh, conditions are kind of dangerous. We definitely want to be careful not to get anything started out there. Watch those cigarette butts. Uh, watch the chains behind your truck or car or around your trailers. And make sure you're very cautious about getting any sparks or anything ignited out there. Certainly don't want to have any grass fires going on with these expected conditions today and even on into tomorrow and the remainder of this week because we are talking about some pretty breezy conditions for the next several days. What we're looking at right now on our SchoolNet sites are current temperatures and peak winds thus far today. Not all that strong yet, not all that strong here, but in other locations they are getting strong and will get strong later this afternoon. Right now 81 degrees already at our uh, school net site right here at the studios in downtown Amarillo on the south side of town. A little bit warmer. Randall High School at 84 degrees, Lakeview at 83, West Texas A&M University where they're having their ongoing activities for uh, homecoming this week at 83 degrees right now with the peak wind at five miles an hour out of the south. Up to the northwest Things are a little bit more breezy. Look at Boy City, 82 degrees and a peak wind already above 20 miles an hour. So this is where uh, stronger winds are expected. The northwest part of the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles under the red flag warning for the remainder of today. 87 already at Perryton with 9 mile an hour south and southwest winds. Down to the southeast, we've got 80 degrees at Wellington. Winds not that strong here. This area not under the gun for uh, the red flag warning, but all of the northwest half of the Texas Panhandle is. Dimmit right now at 78 degrees in our school net site at Dalhart where we're watching the winds there. 81 degrees right now, dew point at 45. So far the winds tolerable at 12 miles an hour out of the south southwest. As far as cloud cover, not much there. Lots of sunshine out there, a few high clouds. As we look to our regional satellite radar composite map, uh, the cloud cover is very thin, very high, about uh, 20,000, 25,000 feet with the high clouds. If we can Go to that. Can we go to our regional satellite radar map? There we go. Thank you very much. And again, just a few high clouds streaming in, but otherwise lots of sunshine out there. 83 degrees right now in Amarillo officially, 87 up at Dodge City, 81 Dallas-Fort Worth. Now upper levels, we got the high pressure. The lower levels causing the wind is this trough of low pressure out to our west. It's going to not go anywhere very fast. It's going to stick around. 89 degrees or better for afternoon high temperature today. And those south winds, 15 to 25 miles an hour and gusty this afternoon. Overnight low temperature at about 54 degrees with lighter southwest winds overnight. But the winds come back again tomorrow. That trough of low pressure is still out there. 86 degrees on our afternoon high temperature tomorrow. So pretty warm day today. And tomorrow, as expected, those gusty south and southwest winds will have a high of 89 degrees today under mostly sunny skies. And overnight low temperatures, not too bad at 54 degrees, most locations in the mid-50s with calmer winds overnight. Now, for the next seven days, we keep the winds in the forecast and also the threat of some strong thunderstorms as upper level low pressure comes in Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. With the rain chances picking up, we also pick up the chances of some severe weather. So we'll have to watch for that. You know, it's kind of weird to hear you actually say rain chances <laughs> yeah. along with possible severe weather. I mean, with the exception of extreme fire danger, we haven't really had anything. Right. So it, it's nice. But when you talk about going back to more spring-like conditions, you right. kind of have that expectation that some of this stuff could happen. Right. And I mean, I don't know about you, but my favorite time of weather is always October. Well, we're here. We'll see what happens. Speaking of unexpected 